Fortnite has an image problem. Some might say it's a cringe fest full of younglings screeching and dancing like loons. For many gamers, Fortnite is a particular turnoff, where it has more cosmetics than a chemist and an art style that screams at you kiddies games. These were the preconceived views that Reggie had until he gave it a first proper playthrough. And let me tell you, my pedigree chums, once you scratch the surface, Fortnite ain't just a game for the sprogs, instead it's a bloody superb shooter and one that deserves way more respect than the non-believers give it. So grab yourself a cutter and let Reggie explain why Fortnite might just be the best game you never played. Back in 2017, the world was hit with Fortnite fever and it spread like chlamydia during Freshers Week. Here we had a free-for-all Royal Rumble where 100 players dive headfirst into the mayhem on a vast map that continually receives updates. And this familiarity is the secret source of its success. Once you get the hang of it, playing Fortnite's like riding a bike. You never bloody forget. Now let's talk business, shall we? Epic Games allows you to waltz into Fortnite for free, but hold on to your knickers because they're going to shove more costumes, skins and battle passes down your throat than Ron Jeremy ever did to his colleagues. And who can blame them? Last year alone, Fortnite raked in more than six billion dollars. Dollars. Cha-ching. Upon loading up Fortnite, I thought I'd be diving into some kiddie wonderland with those cartoon graphics slapping me right across the chops. But how wrong I was, my friends. As I soared in that bus with 99 other lunatics, I was nearly ready to throw in the towel. But in that moment I took the leap, things started to change for me. Curiosity gripped me like a jealous lover. There it was, this massive map stretching out in every direction, a canvas for my cunning plans. Suddenly I was hooked. I could practically hear the cries of little Johnny C and oh, how I longed to make him weep. Victory was in the air and I was ready to seize it. When you touch down on the island, you'll activate ex-girlfriend mode. Here you'll be scouring every nook and cranny like a crazy person, surveying the location to the nth degree in the oak of finding out some important intel to help your early success. You'll be rifling through buildings, cracking open chests and searching rooms. You'll desperately hunt for shields and snazzy weapons to give you that edge. Fortnite doesn't complicate things. Rifles, snipers, shotguns and pistols. That's your arsenal from humble green to glorious gold. But here's the kicker. You've only got six slots in your backpack. Do you go full on Rambo with a bunch of weapons or do you get all tattered and stash some healthy goodies away. It's your call, governor. And personally, I love wrecking havoc with a turret, watching those little Johnny c scattering like frightened pigeons. Your loadout is a constantly shifting puzzle tailored to your needs and the chaos of the moment. Adapt or get served. Simple as that. What really got me wet in the pants though was the gunplay of Fortnite. Now I kicked the bucket more times than I care to admit in my early days, but it never felt like an unfair game. Why? Because there's no pay to win mechanic here. Everyone starts on a level playing field. No rich Johnny c splashing daddy's money for fancy gear. Shooting in this game has a satisfying punch to it. Those hitboxes doing their job like a champ. It ain't as brutal as a Counter-Strike, but that's the beauty of Fortnite in its easy to pick up and hard to put down approach. Now I found myself switching between weapons, firing grenades out like confetti as I watched little Johnny c scampering away. But then I realized something else I had wrong in that these young players, they're not so young no more and they've grown up with the game. You might think you're in charge, gunning down a bunch of younglings only to find some sneaky bugger in the distance picking you off as you are weakened from the battle. Camping concerns? Not in Fortnite, lads. There is a storm on the map that is always breathing down your neck, pushing you closer and closer to your foes as it grows larger in size. You're dashing for that safe zone out of the storm, eyeballing high ground, hoping for some future advantage. The tension is enough to make your heart race, and I never in my wildest dreams thought Fortnite would be able to leverage such a reaction from me. Now let me bend your ear about my major beef that I do have with Fortnite. The issue is Fortnite has sold its soul to corporate America more times than I've had pints. Right now, there's 
there's this Star Wars and Ahsoka tie-in. You can grab yourself a lightsaber in game, and soon enough, you've got these little Johnny Cats swarming you with these overpowered bits of nonsense. I did my own work, and it looks like these movie tie-ins are a theme throughout Fortnite's history, and they look likely to stay with each next big Disney-esque release. Picture this, there I am enjoying the sweet gunplay and tactical vibe, and suddenly, a Luke Skywalker wannabe charges in, throwing the whole rhythm off. It's proper jarring stuff. Now, I get Epic at chasing the coin here, but it's taking the soul out of Fortnite, if you ask Reggie. I do give them credit for trying to make a story out of what is, in essence, a one-map wonder battle royale mode. There are seasons, and with that come tweaks to the map, like a chameleon on a disco dance floor changing to the beats of the time. But truth be told, I reckon there's space for a new map, maybe even two, just to keep things spicy. Sure, what they've got ain't half bad at all, but it starts feeling like the same old song and dance after a while. For the seasoned Fortnite veterans, maybe it's like a comfy old pair of slippers, but for us newcomers, it ain't keeping me hooked like some other games do. Things get a bit too familiar too quickly, and that's a right turn off over time. Now this ain't a co-op review, but do hit that like button just to keep the YouTube overlords happy. However, I gotta say, Fortnite is an absolute gem when you team up with your mates. The variety of game modes they've got up their sleeve is what makes Fortnite a top-notch package. You've got your classic mode where you're building towers and whatnot, trying to get some cover or height, but I much prefer the good old straight-out shootout mode where everyone's got a partner in crime. Now this means there's a chance for some revives, or in my case, baiting Johnny T shoes while I pick off younglings from a distance and the best part when you're brown bread there ain't much waiting around you simply jump right back in and start a fresh game in 30 seconds flat your demise never feels like much of a demise when you're back to playing so soon. Graphically, Fortnite made me eat my own words, and one of the first titles to jump on the Unreal 5 engine bandwagon, it means they've stuffed these maps with more detail and tech than you can shake a stick at. First things first, major props to the art style. The colour palette they've used is bang on the money. Some areas in the map are bathed in pastel colours, while others hit you with those high contrast hues. You've got cityscapes drowning in grey concrete and neon signs, giving off that cyberpunk vibe. And then you've got the jungle areas, lush with vegetation and every shade of green that you can imagine. But we ain't done there yet. Let's talk about the mind-boggling level of detail. The ground smothered in that aforementioned vegetation with different shaped grass blades, bushes or leaves, trees gently swaying the wind, painting the perfect backdrop, and the models themselves and the items around the map, they are full of polygons and high fidelity. Now you might just sprint past the wooden house as the one on screen here and think nothing of it, but take a proper gander and you'll notice the faded paint at its base, dirt sneaking into its crevices, and inside you'll have straw mats and wallpaper glimmering from the light. Every material looks exactly as it should. You're not just playing a game, you're stepping into a work of art crafted with oodles of love and effort. Fortnite might seem simple at first glance, but to call it anything less than a beautiful canvas would be a right disservice. So let's talk about the sweet symphony of Fortnite and its soundscape. See, most games throw music at you, trying to ratchet up the tension, but not Fortnite. Instead, it lets the sound effects do the talking. Distant gunfire echoes through the battlefield, building the tension like a bar brawl that's about to kick off. And the directional sound is a stroke of genius. You hear gun battles brewing in the distance, and you can practically smell the fear of little Johnny hiding away, wondering if he'll make it out alive. Each gun sings a different tune, so after a while, you'll know what weapon type is shooting at you. Hearing a sniper bullet ricochet and hit the ground below is both exhilarating and tense. But it ain't just the shooting, it's the footsteps. Hearing other players traipsing around becomes as vital as breathing. The sound design in Fortnite ain't just a backdrop, it's your secret weapon, your Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass to discovering the location of your next target. To conquer Fortnite, you gotta conquer the sound. You gotta listen and a good pair of headphones will really amplify how you approach different scenarios. So Reggie had to swallow his pride and munch on a plate of humble pie with this one. You see, Fortnite might have a few quirks. Those movie tie-ins, the in-your-face cosmetics, yes, they're like an overzealous car salesman that gets right on your tits. And let's also not forget about the over-familiarity with the map. But don't go judging a book by its cover, or in Fortnite's case, a game by its dance moves.
moves. You see, Fortnite is like a treasure trove just waiting for you to crack it open. It's got a flavour for every gamer's taste, from the cautious strategist to the run-of-the-mill gun daredevil. There's a mode here for the thinkers and the brawlers, the planners, and indeed the thrill-seekers. So don't be ready and let your assumptions be the captain of your ship. Give this whirlwind of a shooter a spin, and who knows, you might find yourself dancing in victory like that little Johnny until next time, my lovelies, love to you all. Reggie, out.